Welcome, my name is Chris and I'll show you in this video how to create a CSV file from your .NET collection or list using the CSV helper library. I'll also show you how you can control the column header names and also column formatting using just a few lines of code. The example I'll show you today is in .NET Core. However, because CSV Helper is a .NET standard library, it will work seamlessly across .NET Framework, .NET Core, .NET 5, and of course, Xamarin as well. So let's dive into some code. So I've created my console app and I've installed my CSV Helper package using the command .NET add package CSV Helper. Of course, in full-size Visual Studio, I can use the package manager console command install dash package CSV Helper to achieve the same thing. Now before I create my CSV file, I need something to put in it. So because I like Rocket so much, I've created a Rocket Info class. My Rocket Info class contains a Rocket name, the organization who operates the Rocket, the payload or weight the Rocket can carry, and the first time it launched. Now I'm going to put some sample data in here, which is my favorite Rocket, but of course in a real application, you'd possibly use a database call or an API call. Before I can use CSV Helper, I need to add a couple of namespaces. First of all, I'll add using CSV Helper. I'll also need system.io for file access and system.globalization as well. And I'll show you why in a moment. Now we need to open a stream writer for access to our file. So let's first create a path where we can store our CSV file. We'll just pop it in the local folder. Now let's open up a using block for our stream writer. We'll pass in our CSV path as a parameter. Now we can use the CSV writer class on CSV helper to create our CSV. So let's get another using block and we'll do var CSV writer equals new CSV writer. Now the first argument for that we pass in is our stream writer for file access. And the second is a culture info, which tells CSV Helper how to handle things like dates, currencies, and numbers, and so on. So we'll just use culture info invariant culture. We can now create our CSV file. First of all, let's get our sample rocket collection. And finally, we can use the CSV writer write records method to write our CSV file out. We'll pass in our Rockets collection into there. If we run this now, it'll create our CSV file for us. So here's the file that CSV Helper has created for me. So far, so good. It's even handled my nullable field properly by putting in an empty column. There's a few things I don't like, though, about this file. First of all, I don't particularly like my column header names. I'd much rather they were lowercase with underscores between each word. Second, it's not quite obvious really what unit my payload capacity is using. So I need to put kilograms after the number to make it clear. And finally, my dates aren't formatted as I would like. I'd rather they were nice sortable ISO strings. So let's go back to our code and sort that out. To control our CSV column headers and column formatting, CSV Helper has a brilliant tool built in called the class map. Class map is just a way of telling CSV Helper how to map C sharp properties to CSV columns. So to create one, let's jump back into our Rocket Info file. So before we start, we just need to add one more namespace to here, and that's CSV Helper dot configuration. And now we can go ahead and create a class which will map our properties for us. This class needs to inherit from CSV Helper's class map base class. And we'll pass our rocket info in as a type argument. Now, inside our constructor, we can use a special map method on our base class to map properties to CSV columns. So we'll call map and we'll pass in an expression that represents the property we want to use. So let's start with rocket name. Now, the first thing we want to do is change our column header names to nice snake case, lowercase names. So we can use an extension method on map which is just called name and pass in the name that we want our column header to be. So let's go ahead and create the rest of our mappings. Now we're not quite finished because remember one of the things we wanted to do was change our launch date formatting to a nice sortable ISO string. So we can extend the dot name method with a type converter option. 
Now type converter just tells CSV helper how to convert the date time to a string. And if we call format on our type converter option, so we'll just pass in the shorthand S for sortable ISO. We could of course pass in any date time string, just think of it as calling to string on our first launch date. Now the final thing we wanted to do to our CSV file was change the payload capacity output to show the unit we're using, which is kilograms. So we can use another extension method on name that is just convert. Now convert takes a callback that's called each time CSV helper writes a line to our CSV file. So let's add rocket and open up a new expression. Now this returns a string, but remember that payload capacity is nullable. So we need to check if it's null first. So we'll do return rocket dot payload capacity. Check it has a value. And if it does, we'll return a nice template string with rocket dot payload capacity kilograms. And if has value is false, we'll just return string dot empty. Just before we create our CSV file, we just need to add another line that tells CSV writer to use the class map. So we'll call CSV writer context dot register class map. And we'll pass in our rocket info class map. Now CSV helper knows that every time it writes a rocket info item, it needs to use the rocket info class map to generate its mappings. Now here's our final CSV file. Our header names are all correct as we wanted. Our payload capacity is formatted properly with a unit at the end. And also our launch date is formatted as a nice sortable ISO string. So everything is correct. So that's how we create CSV files with C Sharp using CSV Helper. There's a link in the description to the CSV Helper GitHub repository and homepage. And also all the code that I've shown you in this example is available on my GitHub repo. I really like this library. I use it in lots of my own projects. I'd like you to check it out as well. I think you'll really like it and it'll save you quite a lot of time. If you like this video, please do drop a like. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.